Here is the oil pan baffle I was talking about in the last video. What this is going to do is stop oil from climbing up to the back of the oil pan, going up in the engine when I'm watching this boat, or when it's at a steep pitch in the water. Um, these are also used in cars that can launch pretty hard. Um, it's also going to help cut down the windage when the crank spins past it, and it'll be working in tandem with the windage tray that we're putting on here. This oil pan baffle was bought from Mandelos, and I actually had to open it up to fit it to my main cap. And you can see this main cap I really opened up inside here to get that oil going on. The oil pump will be bolted on the outside of this cap without a gasket. Before I had the crank polished, I took the time to deburr all the casting flash off it. Again, trying to reduce stress risers, and also trying to reduce anything that's going to drag windage along with it. I'm fitting my rings here. You want to make sure you have the proper end gap. So to do that, you basically put your ring in the cylinder board. Carefully, you don't want to crack it. What I did is I put a old ring on a piston. This way you get it perfectly square in the board. And then you throw your feeler gauge in there. Make sure it's in spec. You don't want it to be too tight or too loose. Earlier in the video series, I was talking about a low budget rebuild. Well, that went out the window when I had it bored out. The bore taper is just too much for me to run. So I punched 30 over and I got a matched Speed Pro forged piston. Taking a look at the rods, you can see the original factory rod has a, a party line in it. This is a forged rod, and they grind this down. To make it stronger, I went ahead and polished it off with sandpaper rolls in my die grinder, and I had um, these rods shot peened. Of course, they were made in flux and reconditioned, and I also had them fitted with ARP bolts. And if we take a look at the pistons, you'll notice that this is the original factory 1974 cast piston. It has a really deep dish in it. And here is this new piston. This piston has an 18cc dish in it. And remember that number because we're going to need that in our compression calculation later in the video series. And one other interesting thing about this uh, setup here is this is a pressed pin. And on the side, they actually coated this piston. It's supposed to be a slippery coating, according to the advertisement. Okay, we got the rings on the pistons. Um, I used a ring uh, insulation tool for the top two rings on that. You don't want to spiral those on. And we're going to go ahead and index the rings, index the gaps on the rings correctly, oil them, and install the pistons and rods in the block. You know, these pistons have an arrow which faces towards the front of the block. We got the piston uh, rings compressed here, and I'm just going to go ahead and tap it in. Voila. 